Welcome back everyone. Starting off on our KX cam overlooking Minot right now, an area it's seeing a moderate to heavy snow possible over really the next maybe hour or so and maybe through the rest of the afternoon. Temperatures right now sitting at 26 degrees. You have a northwest wind at 16 miles per hour, helping drop that wind chill down to 14 degrees. And in downtown Bismarck, heavy to moderate snow falling there as well. Temperatures sitting at 27 degrees. Your north northwest wind at 14 miles per, hour, miles per hour, helping drop that wind chill down to 16 there. Weather alerts, we are seeing that the eastern portion portion state is now in that winter weather advisory up until Friday 6 a.m. As we move to the rest of the state, you know, still in that winter storm warning up until Thursday 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and again could see another inch to five inches tonight. We'll have heavy winds uh, 40 to maybe 50 miles per hour. Uh, blowing snow is an issue. Freezing rain could be an issue. Uh, just going to be an un unenjoyable couple of days here for us uh, coming up. Road conditions right now are uh, travel alerted. Uh, there's no closures anymore. Uh, 94 is open now. Uh, from Dickinson all the way to Fargo, but you are going to have ice covered roads. You are going to have snow covered roads really over the next couple of days as we continue to see snow and for our highest snow amounts right now, uh, Bismarck at 12.2 inches, Emmerich 12 inches, Hartsfield uh, 11, Fort Yates 10.5, Mandan at 10. And then for some other amounts we're seeing, you know, all the way down to maybe six in Williston, you know, lots of snow and these numbers are going to continue to go up. These were updated maybe 30 minutes ago. Some of these are still coming in. So as we get more snow, these numbers will continue to, uh, to rise through really the next couple of days because satellite and radar is showing us right now this heavy band of moderate to heavy snow all the way from the Canadian border all the way down to South Dakota. It, roads visibility could be reduced and, and other things. We can see that right now on our visibility map. Some areas with that heavy snow really getting reduced to below a mile. And so this is something we're going to see over the next couple of hours as that heavy snow moves through the state. Uh, temperatures right now ranging from the uh, mid to upper 20s to the east as you move west, those mid to upper teens, a little bit colder out to the west. That'll be the trend of the next couple of days. Wind speeds and directions five to we'll say 20 miles per hour from mostly the northeast or the northwest. Uh, uh, this will continue to pick up through the rest of the day. We'll see gusts again up to 40 miles per hour the next couple of days. A uh, highs day similar to our, our temperatures right now map, you know, mid to upper 20s to the east, those teens out to the west. Precision cast is going to show a heavy band of snow a possible through the rest of the afternoon today into tonight. We'll start to see maybe a light to moderate snow and then we have to keep an eye on there's sort of this band moving out of the east to the west that could bring heavier snow through Thursday afternoon out to portions of eastern and central North Dakota as it moves through again accumulations could be possible there. We get into Friday morning some light to moderate snow once again and that's where it lasts all day Friday as we get into Saturday morning though could see a day of, of relief or recovery here as just maybe light snow possible and then Saturday afternoon we see another band out to the west start to build and that will move to the state Sunday into Monday and could have a drier day on Monday. Your highs tomorrow looking colder those mid to upper teens lower 20s to the east. Your Dickinson three day forecast. Well, 19 today, 14 tomorrow, 10 on Friday. Your Williston three day forecast, 20 today, 16 tomorrow, 13 on Friday. There, your might not seven day forecast shows 20s and then teens. And then we get that cold air comes, drops us to the negatives starting next week. Could have more snow as well. Bismarck seven day forecast similar there. 20s today, teens to end the week, those single digits and negatives next week, Lauren.